I was very drawn to the chaos. Something was drawing me there. Got my EMT license, became an ER tech. But then I'd see uh, EMTs, ambulances, medics coming in and out, and I was kind of like, that looks way more exciting to me. Like, I want to check that out. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's, um, you know, if, if you play sports, you're on a team, you know, you go through double days, and you go through some hard times together, it just creates this bond. And with fire service, you times that by like a thousand. The academy's hard, the training's hard, not only for the fire part of it, but also the EMS part of it. And you just build this huge family and huge bond, and they're truly my second family. You know, I think team sports helped me a lot is because um, in order to be successful, you have to learn how to work together, right? You can't just be on your own and expect to succeed. That's the fire service. So in order to put a structure fire out, in order to lay a hose lay and put, you know, grass fire out, you have to work together, you have to communicate together. You can't do everything on your own by yourself. It's just not gonna happen. To be successful, you have to have trust in one another, you have to rely on one another, you have to be vulnerable with one another to be successful. When you're working a cardiac arrest, we have two engines and an ambulance that come. And we've been training how to work a code for years. And when you have that down and you just come in and you work as a team and you get the pulses back, everybody did their job and you just walk out of there like, oh, that felt good. Like we literally made a difference in, in someone's life. Well, the funny thing is, is I never knew anything about fire service. Like, knew nothing about it whatsoever. So when I went to Chico State, I uh, played softball. I played sports my whole life. And then I also got into athletic training. And so I was looking into maybe becoming athletic trainer, maybe teach, coach. Was looking into that. Then I realized there's no jobs for females um, back then for athletic training. So I got these odd jobs here and there. And um, I had to go into the emergency room a few times to stock a few shelves in the refrigerator. And uh, I noticed um, ambulances coming in and out. I noticed um, x-rays in the doctor's office and I was very drawn to the chaos. Like something was drawing me there. So long story short, got my EMT license, became an ER tech, love that. But then I'd see uh, EMTs, ambulances, medics coming in and out. And I was kind of like, that looks way more exciting to me. Like I want to check that out. Fell in love with the EMS part of it. So love being an EMT. It was about two years in full time, and still at this point, didn't know much about the fire service. Started going to medic school, and then I got to know a lot of the fire guys. One day they said, you know, we're um, hiring, we're doing a reserve program, you know, you should check out the fire service. And instantly fell in love with the fire service. I loved how physical it was. Um, I love camaraderie with all the firefighters. I just love that team aspect and being part of something big. And once I found out that, you know, most departments hire medics, it's like, well, this is great because I love the EMS part of it, love being an EMT, love being a medic. Um, so from there, I started applying to different departments and got picked up in Novato. Kind of a weird way going about it, you know, didn't, didn't do a Firefighter One Academy, um, did not get my AA in fire science, um, but that's okay. Um, I ended up getting that later, Firefighter One. So it all worked out, but I definitely went a different route than most people. When I came in 20-something, about 20 years ago now, me and two other women were the first women to be hired in Nevada Fire to make it to the floor. I was lucky because the majority of the guys that I worked with accepted me and two other women. A few guys made it known that they didn't really want us there. I look at it as that if somebody's giving me a hard time because I'm a female, then that's their issue and not mine, and that's their insecurities, not mine. So I just tell them, stick with what you know, have confidence in yourself, you can do this job, and you absolutely 100% belong. I've heard many times that women don't belong in the fire service, unfortunately. Um, obviously, I don't believe that. Uh, we do belong and we can do the job. Now, it is tough. Physically, it's, it's, um, it's a lot harder because we can't really muscle stuff like a lot of the guys can. So it really comes down to technique. So my advice is get experience. I wish I would have spent a little more time as a reserve so I could really um, take the time to learn how to throw a 24-foot ladder by myself. When it comes to throwing heavy objects or pulling hose, doesn't matter if you're male or female, if you're just on the smaller side of it, you really have to rely on technique. For me, it was A, recognizing I'm having a hard time, B, just being vulnerable and saying, hey, like, I'm kind of struggling here, I need your guys' help. Um, and luckily, I had a few firefighters that really helped me through that process. We tried so many different ways, let's try to throw the ladder this way or that way. And with time and experience um, and not giving up, I came close to doing that. Don't do it, you can do it. You might struggle a little bit, but I'm telling you, you can absolutely do it. You just stick with it, work hard, don't give up, and don't be afraid to ask for help.